A big story, the consecration of Ram Temple in Ayodhya next month to be led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has become a political issue ahead of the Lok Sabha elections in 2024. Invitations uh, for January 22nd event have been sent to religious leaders, politicians, actors, but it is those sent to opposition leaders that are making headlines. Before I bring in the guests, let's listen in to what uh, Union Culture Minister Minakshi Lekhi had to say earlier today. The massive Ram Temple will happen on 22nd uh, and uh, it is the Culture Ministry which is organizing the events but politics has also started playing out with me is Union Minister uh, Minakshi Lekhi. Minakshi Lekhi, I appreciate your time. How do you view the reactions that are coming in from various political leaders who are saying that there is this charge of politicization of this event, of a religious event that is coming on you? No, I can only say uh, Ram is about faith, faith of this nation and faith of our forefathers who believed in principles which are there forever. So it's up to a person to view because your point of view is determined by your own conduct and your own thought process. So according to me, the thought process is that Ram is the ideal most expression of a human. Ramayan is the ideal most expression of a society. Ram Rajya is the ideal most system of governance. And all the ideals that India possesses today, the conduct of a brother, the conduct of a sister, the conduct of a father, conduct of a wife, uh, conduct of a society, conduct of a, a, a bhakt, they are all present in Ramayan. And even conduct of a, an enemy is also there. So it is about established principles and the values based on which the society runs its system. And that's what uh, uh, Ramayan and Ram Mandir is representative of. So people who are politicizing are the ones who have been doing politics of a different nature, who have been uh, dividing society on religion and several other things and not even reaching out to the people who are unreached. Okay, so how do you look at the reactions that are coming in, particularly from the left? Uh, Brinda Karat, I'm going to quote her, she says, we'll not go, we respect the religious belief, but they are connecting a religious program with politics. And you are, in fact, the charge is that using religion as a political weapon. I am so surprised, had they been present, the, there would have been no weaponization. The weaponization is done by these very people who have been speaking against a particular religion and politicizing a society which these people have been doing and calling us, I mean, if I am sending invites or somebody has been sending invite to all these people, who is weaponizing the religion? The ones who are inviting or the ones who are choosing not to go? The ones who are choosing not to go are the ones who are weaponizing it because they are the ones who have been trying to speak against a particular religion and they are ultimately exposing themselves to the reality. Ma'am, talking about the program and the events that are being organized because you know this is being seen as a big civilizational moment for India as well. What all is your ministry doing? So, uh, it's not particularly my ministry, it's the Ram Temple Trust which is working and uh, it is the UP government which is doing. There have been several consultations at several levels, <laughs> artists etc. Uh, the list of artists and all, so we will act as a support uh, team. But mainly the organizational work has been done by UP government and the Ram Mandir Trust itself. So in terms of, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, excitement and anticipation as to what war all will happen. Are you of the opinion, because you have been a politician for decades, uh, would you have wanted all politicians across party lines to be present because invitation has been extended, actors have been invited, influencers have been invited, so the invitation list is quite prolific. Absolutely, and I would have want every Indian to be part of this uh, 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 program because 
if symbolism is what uh, it is all about and symbolism is through which we send out large message the symbolism of the country would have been that a wrong has happened in the past and all of us as indians are together in correcting that wrong and that would have been a biggest symbol of unity and i'm surprised at the way some people are reacting but but there is a chopai in ramcharitramanas and it just came to my mind a line of it which says hoi soi jo ram rakhi rakha which means all that is disdained ram ji decides will happen so while the invites have been extended to all but those probably who deserve to be there will be there and they will only have the karmas to witness uh, such an event all right thank you so much for speaking to ndtv and joining me now ratan sharda author and rss member rakhi rathore is spokesperson of the bjp uh, bal chandra kangu is national secretary of uh, cpi we have prasanjit bose political analyst and economist and ghanshyam tiwari representing the samajwadi party mr kangu beginning with you what exactly is uh, uh the left party's reservation why are they you know declining to go see basically left parties are against religion being mixed with politics our indian constitution is very clear that the state has to keep itself its secular character very clear unfortunately the whole process of ram mandir movement has been a very highly emotion emotive politicized movement and therefore today the bjp government particularly is trying to even make this event a political event and therefore we we that we respect all Mr. religions Kangu, but at the my, same my time question is respecting religion that and making had you attended it together, it would not have been a bjp about, government event and therefore we are all afraid. parties would have made their presence felt so it would not have been a particular party event it would have been an a political event had all parties attended it because ex- invitations have been sent to one and all the basically let me be very clear that as far as we cpi is concerned we have not received any invitation from anywhere to attend the ram mandir function i don't know we are we are we are hearing paper news newspaper news sitaram yachuri said that he doesn't want to invitation. attend and he gave a reason so uh, so so ratan sharda come in on this who is politicizing an event now is it a religious hey. event or a political event and because everyone has been invited politicians oh. actors uh, you know sports persons influential people powerful people across uh, various sectors including businessmen have been invited then why should this be seen from the prism of politics well those who play politics or those who have played politics of ram for decades they will play politics those who stood by ram who stood by ram mandir will not play politics the invitation goes from the ram mandir trust it doesn't go from bjp they have invited every segment of the society like you already pointed out so where is the politics politics in their mind now talking of communist uh, party it is not surprising that they have uh, refused the invitation they are honest because they are basically anti religious communism is anti religion unfortunately in india communist party is not anti religion is anti hindu because they will never speak a word against ills of other religions or problems or for orthodoxy of other religions but they will speak against only hindus and sanatan dharma so parties who have been talking against sanatan dharma against hindus they are together in india alliance they are supporting each other they have not criticized anybody who has been heaping insult on hindus i will not even talk about what they speak hmm. and i would also see that all the people who said hame mandir chahiye mandir wahi banayenge tarikh nahi batayenge that was a ridicule we face for 20 to 30 years on tv studios on various public platforms and this talk about uh, politicization if they had accepted as you rightly pointed what stops congress from celebrating what rajiv gandhi started okay rajiv gandhi unlocked, unlocked the mosque he uh, he allowed uh, shilanyas of uh, the first shilanyas of ram mandir he launched his uh, campaign from ayodhya if you remember he called ram rajya and he lost the like, i mean there was an accident hmm. with uh, you know very unfortunate instead of terror that he lost okay. it but that point exactly is, is my point here ganshyam tiwari yeah. what exactly is the opposition to not attending i mean had the you know invitation not been sent then the parties would have said that the bjp has hijacked the event now that the invitation has been sent and they are not attending the questions will be asked as to why you are not attending 
Good evening, Maria, to you, the viewers, and my fellow co-panelists. I believe that it's a personal choice on, on the way people would uh, exercise their faith uh, on this momentous, momentous occasion. And uh, everyone who's going there will go there, there as an individual in the court of God, in presence of God, um, and uh, participate in the ceremony. I don't see this as an uh, issue that will be an uh, agenda for attending or not attending, invitation or no invitation. This is not the national agenda for India Alliance. There, is, there are plenty of important topics for a national agenda uh, that India Alliance uh, needs to look at. For example, the specter of job, the situation of the parliament where 140 members of parliament are suspended, youth attack parliament, which is a failure of the home minister who should have resigned but has not resigned, and youth attack parliament because they want the prime minister to speak about unemployment, to, to tackle unemployment. There are enough issues from Kashmir to unemployment to uh, the price rise, to the dismantling of democracy, to the kind of, of uh, laws that have been passed, especially with respect to the criminal justice system, that form uh, an agenda for the nation with respect to India Alliance. Who is so, being sent the invitation? Yes, who so is not? While, to, while we are not really not saying that agenda. this has become an agenda of the India Alliance because all the leaders will be deciding at a very you know, party and individual level, but Prasenjit Bose, uh, would you say that this could very well be that moment where if all parties are present, thereafter, Ram Temple and Hindutva may not become a talking point if all parties are present for this uh, important day? No, <clears throat> I don't think so. I think that uh, first the um, Supreme Court, when it uh, gave the verdict uh, in 2019, uh, uh, he, the Supreme Court, I, I don't think intended in its order to, uh, uh, you know, for the inauguration to happen just on the eve of a Lok Sabha election. I think that uh, the Supreme, there is uh, no date given in the Supreme Court judgment that the Supreme Court, uh, that the Mandir has to be built uh, within such and such date. The choice of the inauguration itself has, you know, the, the, the timing of it just on the eve of the election has certainly politicized the issue. And I think it's very unfair to now force this debate onto the people, those who are forcing this debate about who will go to the inauguration and who will not, which is clearly a political event. It is being done in, before the elections in a crucial uh, state, in one of the largest states of our country, and it is being done for a political purpose only. I think it is very naive, those who are saying that it has got nothing to do with politics. Uh, I think that it is. it should be left to individual choice. And uh, any political party should not claim, like the BJP spokesperson just did, they should not claim any monopoly over religion. I mean, a lot of there are, you know, this is a Hindu majority country. There are many Hindus in this yes, country. So there are the many absence, Hindu gods. The absence and, and, and no of leaders, Prasenjit. No political party can claim yes. a monopoly over the Hindu religion. Yes, absolutely. That's, That's the reason why Hindus I'm asking. So the absence of certain parties... Will that not be then political? Because no, even if there is no politics, in, in, it will be seen as because the Supreme Court has not given a particular date for inauguration of temple. It is the, the Ram Temple Trust beside, which has decided. And of course, you will you'll talk about the politics of it. But then it can be also argued, Prasenjit, that had all parties been present, then it would not have been seen as a BJP event or a purely political no. event. No, I don't think so. I think that one can't be ahistorical. One cannot forget the fact that what politics has gone on around the Ram Temple issue since 1949. The Supreme Court order itself said that the way the mosque was demolished there was wrong. And the way that the, the idols were smuggled into that uh, disputed structure, that was wrong. So, you know, let us not be naive and say that suddenly a Ram temple is being built. There are many Ram temples across yes. India. There are many Ram temples in Ayodhya. Okay. So, I don't think Rathod, that is, the, the question anything. or the objection to it is that is it a, is the uh, timing uh, of it is, yes, is timed with the Lok Sabha polls. Absolutely. You want to Absolutely. make that a talking point? Think, Go ahead, Rakhi. I don't, Rakhi. I don't think uh, that you can hold any Maria, yes. Yes. it's not about Rajriti, it's about Ram Niti. In fact, we have waited for this day to come for around 500 years and it's a proud moment for everyone. It's a moment of joy and celebration for each and every Indian. 
and that is why in fact i can strongly believe because of the statements given by my fellow panelists that uh, there is a problem that why ram mandir has been made there is a problem in that they want to create problems they want to create hurdles in each and every noble cause and i think i i find no rajneeti in all these things it's about faith we want to go there we want to celebrate and we are reaching each and every household to come on 22nd of january and after that also to visit that temple even other party members can also do so i think nobody is stopping them to do in fact for lok sabha elections we have plenty of you know we have a strong organization we have public welfare schemes you know can be being the run by prime minister and with these uh, you know strong points we will go in lok sabha election but as far as ram mandir is concerned it's about our faith and in fact from last many years you have seen it's whether it's uh, uh, kashi vishwanath corridor it's uh, ujjain mahakal corridor or char dham pariyojana we have been working for the cultural development of our country because pradhan mantri ji believes that apart from social and economical economical you know development we should also uh, you know put forward our uh, cultural activities as well and it's a part of this and it's a moment of proud for everyone in fact in our constitution you'll see the pictures of ram ji and hanuman ji there in fact uh, uh, mahatma gandhi was also a, a believer of ram bhagwan but you can't expect anything from the parties who had no believe in fact they don't believe in ram and ram bhagwan they they think that ram bhagwan is hypothetical so i think it's a very much common you know very obvious uh, kind of reaction which we are getting from the opposition party but as a whole you will okay. find maximum number of people in our country okay, so with so what could have forward. been a non political issue has become political because I, of I, those who, just, who are i want a slight interjection yes Please. go ahead prasanjit You see, this is precisely where the problem is. Uh, the madam uh, spokesperson of the BJP, who is obstructing or who is objecting to your celebration of Lord Ram, are, and who is objecting? No, no. I, 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 I heard you out. I heard you out. I heard you out. I heard you out. Please don't raise your voice. Let us have a civilized discussion. Why can't we celebrate? Let us have a civilized discussion. Don't. That's the only point I am voting, sir. Listen, listen, madam. First of all, nobody is objecting to your celebration or your, uh, sir, you know, your motion towards Lord Ram. You are free. No, but you have absolutely no right. You, no, no, no. Please, please hear me out. You just, you know, this is not the way. You please hear me out. You have no right to impose your religious choice over mine. You can call no, no, whatever this Raya. country we, runs. No, no, listen, we, listen, we listen, 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 listen. Okay, let's bring in Ratan Sharda now. I, I really enjoy, you know, I, I avoid this kind of uh, talking you, out you and are, talking you, over you each other. So, Prasanjit and uh, Rakhi, I'm not going to come back to both of you. Let me bring in Ratan Sharda. Ratan Sharda, you know, many would say that this was also an opportunity for various political parties. to send a message that india which has seen those very deep fault lines because of the babri uh, temple and uh, uh, babri mosque and ram temple movement has moved beyond it that this day will not be seen as political anymore it will be seen as a civilizational day and then india will have different issues to look forward to or set different agenda post 22nd of january mare totally agree with you unfortunately the opposition cannot see what is the biggest writing on the wall that india has moved forward when the judgment was given people had given grave warning that there will be riots there will be muslims will be up in arms they did not they accepted it because they also wanted to get over, get over with it because they had nothing to do with babar they are more close to us and ram than to babar but who they said who obstructed all this who politicized leftist politicians islamists seculars they politicized the entire ram mandir movement when there was evidence being collected they had the leftist historians selling fake history which was totally rejected by the high court and also by the supreme court they were the ones who obstructed who went on warning about dire consequences and he says there are many temples of ram sir there are many parents there are many mother and fathers but you only one maternal home you only one mother you only one father ram janmabhoomi was the issue ram mandir was not the issue it's a janmabhoomi just like krishna janmabhoomi just like gyan vyapi Three of the three of the most revered uh, Bhagwans of Bharat were being were, were destroyed. Their temples were destroyed. Hindus wanted to instead of those uh, those very places. And Ram is symbol of Indian culture, of Indian Indian uh, ethos, of uh, our duty to nation, our duty to our own family, to society, and dedication for the cause and following dharma. 
in worst case scenario this is the best lesson that only bhagwan ram gives and that also is being politicized so it is for them to realize that this kind of politics samajwadi party said we are not playing politics they say bigger agenda what is their bark saying he said i want babri bet what is their sp mara saying insulting hindus every day have they banished these people okay so let's people? see no. how events so will polarization pan out and play out in the next uh, few days thank you so much for joining us rakhi rathor balchandr kangu prasenjit bos ganshyam tiwari and ratan sharda in fact uh, performers like tanmay mukherjee who is an international drummer are busy practicing for 22nd of january they hope to perform a fusion bhajan in ayodhya as part of the grand celebrations tanishk punjabi spoke to him listen for the last few weeks international drummer uh, tanmay mukherjee in collaboration with the series state works lucknow has been working in very in ayodhya so this is the first time such thing has come up going to perform on 22nd of january in ayodhya so this is the first time such thing has come up bhajan with western instrument uh, we would like to speak to the international drummer tanmay mukherjee tanmay what is this all about what is this new concept uh, this is a new concept uh, basically based on drumming so first time in uttar pradesh i uh, brought this concept to connect all the youth and people together because this is a grand inauguration happening and it's a privilege for us to play for this amazing concept and this uh, amazing inauguration so what this is the concept of playing drums all together so i have created this fusion with the students of uh, this academy to uh, bring all the people together to sing the bhajan in a western style on these western instruments so this will be a new concept definitely this time for the people so bhajan in a western style you are hopeful that you are going to perform on 22nd of january uh i hope that if i get a chance to play over there definitely we are hoping to and we are preparing hard for that so let's see but this will be a new concept surely this time how long have you guys have been uh, practicing and how how large is your team uh this is uh, it's been like 10 days and we are working on this concept because it was tough to bring all the students together so this time we are uh, trying to bring most of the people together who can play the drums and Uh, just uh, give them a new flavor to the people in this ram bhakti okay how what kind of bhajans will be performed uh, most probably we are preparing the medleys and popular tunes uh, and generally the uh, common tunes we have on the ram bhajans and from the vedas so we are collecting all the lyrics and creating in our own style okay thank you so much thank you so much so hopefully on 22nd of january the grand ram mandir inauguration is taking place and there will be many cultural events a uh, lot of events on 22nd of january and it's going to be a very mega grand inauguration uh, prime minister narendra modi will be uh, will be inaugurating so uh, many preparations many many groups are coming there to perform hopefully tanmay is an international drummer and hopefully he, he will also perform there with his team on this new instrument on this new concept where Hajan through Western instruments will take place. With camera person Vinit Kumar Verma, Tanish Punjabi for NDTV. Even as preparations continue in Ayodhya for uh, the celebrations on 22nd, but as I said, it is the politics of those who will not be attending has taken center stage. A quick recap of the story right now. A political row after top CPIM leaders today underlined the party's decision to skip the Ram Temple inauguration event next month in Ayodhya, calling it the politicization of a religious program. धर्म जो है वो एक पवित्र संबंध है एक आत्मा और एक परमात्मा के बीच में ये फंक्शन हो रहा है एक स्टेट स्पॉन्सर्ड इवेंट के रूप में प्रधानमंत्री मौजूद रहेंगे मुख्यमंत्री यूपी के मौजूद रहेंगे जो राजनीतिक व्यवस्था के हैं उनके पदाधिकारी भी रहेंगे वहाँ पे द बीजेपी फॉर विच कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द टेम्पल हैज बीन अ मेजर कैंपेन इश्यू एंड विल बी अगेन इन द रन अप टू द 2024 जनरल एंड स्टेट पोल्स हिट बैक एक्यूजिंग द लेफ्ट ऑफ वेपनाइजिंग रिलीजन द लेफ्ट हैज स्पोकन आउट बट ऑल आईज आर ऑन द कांग्रेस एंड इट सीनियर लीडर्स इंक्लूडिंग पार्टी बॉस मल्लिका अर्जुन खारगे एंड इट्स मेट्रिया सोनिया गांधी Adhir Ranjan Chaudhary its leader in the outgoing Lok Sabha and its former prime minister Manmohan Singh have also been invited but it is not clear if Rahul Gandhi has received one The Congress has been guarded so far General Secretary K C Venugopal has confirmed the invites but said the party's stance will be known later The politics has begun and as the date inches closer the war of words will only intensify With Maria Shakil in New Delhi Tanish Punjabi in Lucknow 
Por NDTV. Oh, 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 oh,